Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're going to look at the effects of speed and elevation changes on the car efficiency. It's a topic that comes up in various forms, you know, why is my range dropped when I'm driving faster on the motorway, usually why is it dropped so much um, and we're going to do some tests just to see, you know, what the effect is. Um, so what we've done is we picked a piece of motorway near where we live, um, it's about 10 miles long and it's got a 300 foot elevation change from top to bottom. Um, which in metric terms is about a 100 metre drop or change from the highest point to the lowest point over about 16 kilometres. Um, and we're going to drive it in both directions, once at 60 miles an hour and once at 70 miles an hour. Okay, the first leg is 60 miles an hour downhill. Um, we pick a clear bit of motorway, we've set the cruise to 60 miles an hour and we reset the top trip counter as we go past a particular gantry um, so we can be consistent in each run. The journey is fairly smooth, we don't have really any particular issues. There is a police car blocking a lane at one point but that's only a very small inconvenience and the speed only drops slightly for a short period of time as we went past it. We picked a gantry at the far end and we got about 187 watts per mile for that journey. We then basically turned around at the junction and drove backwards, which is this time more uphill, doing about 60 miles an hour. This time we had a pretty clear run through with no real interventions or interruptions at all for the whole journey. For those interested, this is a 2022 uh, Model Y long range, standard spec, standard wheels, white if anyone really cares about the colour. Um, so it's just basically the type of car you'd be buying today. It's got the heat pump, it's got the lithium ion battery, um, it's got all the latest bits and pieces. It's a, effectively the, the current production model as of August 2022. This time we're using the bottom of the two trip counters and we got a reading of about 302 watts per mile as we pass the uh, road marking sign. We'll look at all the results at the end, um, so you don't need to remember them all, we'll put a table up. Um, but this time we repeated the journey, but doing 70 miles an hour. So the first leg is the 70 miles an hour. Uh, downhill one uh, and again starting the or resetting the trip computer at the same position um, and maintaining 70 miles an hour uh, on the um, cruise control um, for the full journey again very few reasons to change speed from the uh, from the 70 miles an hour When we got to the same point as before, this time we'd averaged 227 watts per mile, um, which is a little bit down, but again, we'll, we'll recap the results at the end. It's probably worth noting, um, before we started these tests, we supercharged the car to about 80%, so the battery was warm, tire pressures were, you know, 41 PSI, which is just slightly off the, uh, the target pressure that Tesla want. Um, and then the final leg was the return leg again, 70 miles an hour this time, uh, doing the mainly uphill stretch. Okay, we're using the bottom trip counter again, this time for the return leg, and we get a score of 322 watts per mile um, for the same trip uh, at 70 miles an hour. Okay, when we uh, summarise those results, we can see that at 60 miles an hour, the uphill leg was 61% or needed 61% more energy um, to do the same journey as the downhill leg, which is quite a significant amount, you know, and just shows the effect of elevation changes. Interestingly, when we sped up to 70 miles an hour or 112 kilometres prior to do the same leg, it only went up by 41%. Okay, when we look at the effect of the change in speed, we find the downhill leg went up by 21%, whereas the uphill leg went up by a surprisingly small 6%. So there's quite a difference uh, in terms of the efficiency loss as speed increases when you're going uphill compared to downhill. Um, and we suspect this is to do with the fact that the car is incredibly good at regenerating energy and being efficient when almost freewheeling on a downhill stretch. At 187 watts, 
uh, 60 miles an hour downhill well the rated um, figure is about 250 watts per mile for this particular model so you can see that is well within the parameters of, of what the rated figure is if you had to draw a conclusion well there's not a lot you can do about the elevation changes on your journey you know your route is your route unless you can find a, a flatter way through but you do get it through get the energy savings back on the downhill stretches but speed you know it does kill and if we took an average of say 15 percent between those two figures you know on the tesla model why we're testing here that's a 45 mile difference in range just for 10 miles an hour difference in speed